But Bruce Arians announced his plans to retire from coaching yesterday. He's now going to go into the front office. And the move is pretty shocking. Or at least all indications pointed towards Arians wanting to come back. He even talked about being excited about a rebuild because he didn't think he was going to have Tom Brady. And then Brady comes back. You got one last run maybe at another Super Bowl. You got the greatest quarterback of all time, right? You got your players coming back, some of your offensive line coming back, your wide receivers, Chris Godwin. You still got Mike Evans. All right, you got 11 more months that you can do this. And then if you want to go into the front office. But Arians, Arians got his first head coaching job at over age 60. He's approaching 70, might be 70 now. And now it's the defensive coordinator, Todd Bowles, stepping up. There's been a lot of talk. And we're going to talk to Rick Stroud, the great reporter, columnist for the uh, Tampa Bay Times. I have to look at this two different ways. Now, if I look at Bruce Arians' way, okay, this is the right time. So now's the right time. At the end of March is the right time. Okay, even though you were excited about a rebuild here. Why not a month ago? Why not when Tom Brady decided to retire? Or right before that? And then there's the other side of this. And that is, did Tom Brady want Bruce Arians back as his head coach? Was part of the reason why Tom Brady went to London to meet with the Glazer family at the soccer match to say, here are the conditions. Now, I thought he was going there to ask permission to play for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, maybe that was part of the equation. Maybe he went there, and then maybe the Glazers said, well, what if we make a coaching change and we promote Todd Bowles? I just have to look at this and go, okay, is it just a coincidence? Like that Bruce is doing this right now. And I guess I've been doing this too long to just go, okay, yeah, I understand it. Yep, now Bruce says he wants to go into the front office here, and uh, everything's good. Everything's fine. And I think Todd Bowles is a great hire for them, promoting him. He's done a great job with the defense, and he gets a second chance. Because anybody who coaches the Jets deserves a second chance. But we'll talk to Rick Stroud about this, because it does feel like this is Tom Brady saying, I'll come back, here are the conditions. And, you know, there have been reports that Tom Brady and Byron Leftwich would go over the game plan and Bruce Arians would not be in those meetings, but then he would come in and look at all the work they've done, all the plays that they diagrammed, and he would take a red Sharpie to it and say, no, 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 no. And that didn't sit well with the greatest quarterback of all time. Now, everybody's saying, no, that's not true. Okay. And, you know, Tom can say... And what did you think Tom was going to say in his Instagram? He talked, you know, he verbal bouquets. Of course he's going to say that. He's going to say all the great things about Bruce. And I I enjoy Bruce. But I'm not playing for Bruce. I don't know how tough he is playing for. But maybe that was the reason, one of the reasons why he went to Tampa in the first place. Because he had somebody who was different than Bill Belichick. Plus he also wanted to go where he could build his own roster. And Tom is sizing up the offense saying, look at those weapons I got. I got a young defense. Now Tom building his own coaching staff. (laughs) But I don't think it's a coincidence that all of a sudden Bruce Arian says, you know what? I think I'm going to go into the front office now. Wait, what? Yes, Eden. If Tom is building his own coaching staff, why would he put the defensive coordinator in charge instead of the offensive coordinator? Well, he's going to take care of the offense with Byron Leftwich. Yeah, why wouldn't he put Byron Leftwich in charge then instead? Because Todd Bowles has been a head coach. Byron Leftwich hasn't. And maybe he wants him more to himself and let Todd Bowles deal with all the other stuff, and he's got Byron Leftwich, who has great respect for. Do you think it's just a coincidence, Seton, that Bruce Arians decided to go into the front office? A coincidence? Like, it's just like, hey, now's the time that I'm going to, Brady comes back, and I'm, now I'm going to go into the front office. Well, I mean, it's still his team. It's still his, it's not like he retired and stepped away from the team entirely. He still has a total control over it. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that it's as, like, not nefarious, but this, like, whoa, there really is a rift. Well, I don't, he, I don't really see it that way. Well, you can go into the front office. That doesn't mean he has control over this team. 
Like, I don't even know. It could be ceremonial what his role is there. Yeah, Paulie. I think the one thing that stands out from what you said in your opening is it's 11 months. Let's say you were kind of leaning towards retirement and felt, eh, this isn't for me anymore. He didn't have the Achilles injury. Maybe yeah. even, even that's like, man, this is a grind. Yeah. You got 11 months and you got a, probably a, what, a 30% chance of walking off with a Super Bowl victory with Tom Brady? If I got Tom Brady one more year, I'm relevant. I'm staying as a head coach one more year. That that's not one I go. Yeah, you know, that's the one I I can't go with. You know, I don't, I don't know if Tom has it anymore. I'm going to go into the front office. Yes, Eden. Yeah the the way that all of these storylines connect to make everything coming up roses though is a little like it's a little too saccharine sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little too. Everybody is a little too giving in this uh, scenario. Yes. Somebody's going to have a story. And and probably well, I'm I'm guessing somebody is going to have something. Keep in mind, Bruce Arians gave the story to Sam Farmer and Peter King, so he hand delivered it to those two guys, and he's friends with them. And I understand that this happens all the time. But if you give it to them, and then they break the news before you've even said anything to your players, the speculation is, what is Bruce trying to control here? Because why not tell your players? It's a big deal. But what has been written so far is, is Bruce trying to control the story before others have something to say about it? 